No, no, me. Why are they both ladies? It appears ladies, you see that what your husband will not get naturally, your wife will get it done. Amen. No wonder those two women, they are the only two we have in the Bible. Most of the other ones are men. But they so find favor and they became part of the authors of the Bible. And for they are not even Jews, they are foreigners. Amen. Somebody say favor. And I hope you've done the assignment. I told you to read it. Until something drops on you. Amen. I hope you know you can read your Bible. If you have your Bible app, there is a sound there like a speaker. If you click it, it will start reading it for you automatically. So that if you are lazy like me, you can read it that way. Amen. I want you to do that assignment. He said, he will give you favor. He told me. He said, tell them, I will give them favor. And I now say, how will I know that you give them favor? He said, they will not be empty. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, the days of emptiness are over. He said, every weight financially, they are seated before me. So financial heavyweights are here today. Amen. And all on the platform of favor. So the second assignment today before we finish, I will give it to us. And I want you to do it. And I will keep reminding us. Somebody say, I will read the book of Esther. You must read it. Read it. Read it until something. You will see something. I'm telling you. So read it. Amen. So today the title of our message is Forget Not. Somebody say forget not. And we're in the season of divine remembrance. And I told us on Friday that God doesn't forget. So when we say divine remembrance, it doesn't mean that God forgets. I told us it's a system of administration that God has in administering reward. The way God gives reward or punishment is in record. Somebody say record. So God has a record. And in that record, all that you have done that are good, they are there. And it will open that record to bless you. On the other way, all the people that have done wickedness too, there is a record. The archives. And he opens that record to also administer justice. But today, forget not, he's talking to us. Amen. Father, we thank you. Father, as we go through your word, open our understanding and speak to our hearts. Help us not to forget. Every demonic loss of memory, take it away from us. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Forgetfulness is a great weakness in man. Somebody say forgetfulness. It's a great weakness in man. And it's also a great blessing in man. You know, some of us who have gone through some things. If I tell you what I have gone through when I was growing up, man, I thank God that I can forget. Amen. Amen. You know, when I was growing up, at a point, I was the one doing all the housework because I was in another place where it's not my father's house, but my mom has married into there. And I would be the one to wash all the cars, wash all the plates, wash all the clothes, just do everything. And when they are giving food, I have to eat the food that is in the house. It must not waste. But the children of the house, they will buy donuts, meat pie, and all of that for them. Amen. Man, thank God I can forget. You need to forget such. There are some bad experiences we have in life. When you forget, you are healed. Amen. The principle of forgetfulness is through a blood vessel in our brain. I'll teach you biology a little bit. It's called white blood cells. These white blood cells, they die. That's why when you read your book and you want to remember, you notice that when you just read for an exam now, by you do the exam, you once you write the, the exam and drop the pen, you see that after some time you just forget everything. They call it reading to pass. Amen. It's those white blood cells. Amen. They are the ones that carry information. They make you remember. But like I told you, they die. White blood cells are not red blood cells. They are the armies of the body. As they fight disease away from your body, they get injured, they die. And another one is made. Once another one is made, you are forgotten. Amen. That's why man's weakness is forgetfulness. Somebody say forgetfulness. 
Do you know why we come to church every time? It's because we forget if we don't come. Can I tell you, can I shock you? Anyone that has not gone to church for more than a month is a goner. <laughs> what did I say? Anyone, including myself. Don't say I'm a pastor. No, 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 no. If you have not gone to church for more than a month, you are a goner. We forget. Somebody say we forget. And that's why the title of our, if you look at the handout in your hand, it is called Forget. You can't forget everything. Some things, I remember when I was also very small. I'm telling you many stories today. My mother, once my mother called my name three times. <laughs> and then we say, where is your left hand? I will put my left hand. He said, this thing I'm telling you, put it in your left hand. You know why? Because with my right hand, I eat. I don't know if you are, if the other way is true. If you are using your left hand to eat, then it will be your right hand. Amen. Don't eat with it. Keep it. Somebody say, forget not. And we're going to see those things today. Forgetfulness, like I said, is a great weakness in man. And it's also a great blessing. Because some things, you must forget it. Because they are not good. It is so bad that we can get into a situation where we just want to keep pushing and pushing. If you look at all of us in this New Zealand, somebody has, you know, you started on maybe 60,000 salary, and then they promote you, 70,000, 80,000, and then you say, oh, I want six figure. Somebody says six figure. <laughs> I remember those days, you see people pushing, and the day they, they got more than 100K, and sometimes they say, oh, they now begin to say, oh, I'm on six figure salary, amen. And as if it's going to solve all the problems. <laughs> you just need one mortgage, and you will see that it's not enough. Amen. <laughs> amen. And then they got past this figure. Then they want 110, 120, 130, and then they want 200. Look, as I'm saying it, many of you will have it. Yeah. I want a better image. I say you will have it. Yeah. You will have it. Yeah. Can I make it easy for you? Go and research that if I'm on 130,000, what's my salary per week? Have you thought about it? You must begin to plan on Somebody said, that's faith. And that's why God doesn't just do anything. You must know the God. Oh. You plan for, you know, some people, it has never crossed their mind. And that's why it's not in your hand. Amen. You must think about it. Amen. And that's just a gift for somebody. And I know God will put it in your hand in the name of Jesus. So we forget because we are always in, in a rat race. We want more and more and more. And so we forget. But on a Thanksgiving Sunday like this, God is telling us, forget not. Somebody say, forget not. Let's open our Bible, Psalm 103, verse 2, where we find the title of that message. And I want us to read it together. One, two, go. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And do what? And forget not. Let's stop there. Somebody say, forget not. Just stay in that verse 2. Somebody say, forget not. All is benefit. Don't forget. Somebody said, don't forget. And we are always looking ahead. We never look back. <laughs> I was reading an article that if you are overseas, that you are one of the 5% in the world. You think everybody travels? No. <laughs> you are one of the 5%. You are, in fact, anyone that can travel abroad is an intelligent, it's another education on his own. You notice that people that have traveled abroad, even though they are illiterate, they are very clever. They are smart. Amen. Amen. In fact, for somebody that have traveled abroad, if you bring, that, bring out somebody who, are, who is a PhD holder in the same country, you can't compare them. They are very clever. They are smart. Their mind is open. Amen. And you are here. Oh God, you have not done this for me. You have not done that for me. Somebody say, forget not. How many people are praying to be like you? Let me just travel. And you call them back home. And you say, oh, my brother. Ah, you know I'm abroad. It's not easy. Oh, ah, bros. The way is not easy for you. Let it not be easy for me too. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Meaning, they, you know, you'll be telling them it's not easy. It's not easy. They also are telling you, ah, I want to be saying it like you are saying it. Let me also come there. Somebody say, forget not. Yeah. What you think you have that is nothing is somebody's prayer point. Amen. 
you think, ah, what is this? This is nothing. Ah, some people where they are, there is no light, no power. And you, you wake up, you just, look, we just, we just on the light for, for, we can see, oh, we still have it on. <laughs> Somebody say, forget not. Yes, it's not common. It's not like that. I remember in some churches that I was. I was part of the prayer band. We will be praying so that power will not take light. Or so that Nepal will not take light. We'll pray for light. <laughs> Somebody say, forget not. forget not. Brethren, life can be so sweet. This is where I'm going. Somebody say, life can be so sweet. That people forget where God picked them from. Amen. <laughs> there is a blessing that God will give to you very shortly. You will forget all your pain. I say you will forget all your pain. Yeah. In fact, some of you, you will, never, you will not even remember you have ever suffered before. Yeah. But God is saying, don't forget. Somebody say, don't forget. Somebody say, don't forget. There was a king called David. He became so blessed. So blessed. So blessed. That even when Jesus came, they had to call him the son of David. So blessed. Even in Israel today, they still have a celebration called the anniversary of David. Every time. In fact, the star on the nation of Israel flag is called the star of David. But this man, so great a man, is a nomadic. Somebody that was following after sheep, after cattle. He has no, nothing. There is no beauty about him. And so when he began to fumble, to begin to do what he likes, because, of, because he become a king, and he now start taking the wife of his, of his, of his uh, people that he was ruling, and he began to misdo things, God had to remind him and say, David, you remember where I took you from? Let's open our Bible. I love the way God does it, and that's what God is doing. Somebody say, forget not. Somebody say, forget not. In 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 8 to 9, when David was now misbehaving because of wealth, because of money, because of position, he's now abroad. His tongue has changed. His children now, they are secured. He can never be poor again. He has insurance. Look at what God told him. From verse 8. Now therefore, those shall you say to my servant David, not He's a king now. I love God. When God wants to correct you, he's so powerful. God did not say, Don't shall you say to my king? No. He's a servant. Go and tell him, even though he's in the palace, behaving like a king, go and tell him that he's a servant. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from where? From sheepfold, from following after the sheep. From following the sheep to be the ruler of my people over Israel. Look at verse 9. And I've been with you wherever you have gone. And I've cut off all your enemies from before you. And I've made you a great name. This is somebody that when they came to his house to anoint a king, the father forgot that he has him. In fact, we are told that he was a bastard. So the father doesn't count him as one of the children. So he has become so powerful. And God was reminding him. Somebody say, forget not. Many of you, you came abroad because you know how to pray. On your knees, every time, you go to all the crusade just to come abroad. Now you are here. You have forgotten. Somebody say, forget not. Don't forget. Many of you, your name is even Samuel. Meaning your, your mother got you by crying to God. Now you are now here. You don't even care. On Sunday, you go to play football. Somebody say, forget not. Forget not. Don't forget. Don't forget. I remember where you took me from. Man. I can't forget. And I always tell you the story. You think I'm proud of it? No. But I can't forget because it made my brain to calm down. When you remember where you took you from, you will not forget to be humble. Somebody said, don't forget to be humble. Anyone that must praise God and worship God must not forget to be humble. Somebody said, don't forget to be humble. 
Forget not. Don't forget. That's why I told you to go and read that book of Esther. There is a woman there. I think Vashti. She forgot where the king took her from. A time now came the king said, come and dance. I said, king, who is going to dance for you? We are in abroad now. We are in the era where women and men are the same. Don't give me that crap. We are, we are, I can't dance for you. You to come and dance for me. What if you do it too? Wow. Somebody say, forget not. Remember, we are the bride of Christ. So when we say, shall we all kneel down now and praise God? Ah, this is my designer. This is uh, uh, Doshe and Gabbana. This is Gucci. This is, uh, what's the other one? Louis Vuitton. I can't kneel down with this. Do you know, as I sat down there, he said, the next Thanksgiving service, we are all going to wear white. Go and find white. It can be tough. Can, and we're going to kneel down. All that praise in that Thanksgiving service, we are going to kneel down in that white. Amen. If you don't have, don't bother. Still come. You will kneel down with whatever you have. Come with your best, with your best dress. Come and use it to kneel down. Amen. He said, that's what I want. <laughs> I'm telling you already. I will announce. Amen. Somebody say, forget not. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget to be humble. Remember where you took you from. Remember where you took you from. I can't forget. How will you forget? And so he was reminding David. David, don't forget. When you have money. When everything is working for you. Don't forget, our humility to God is part of our worship to him. It is impossible to be a true worshiper and be proud at the same time. It's not possible. You can't be a true worshiper and be proud at the same time. That's why you see people that are worshiping God, a time comes, it will be as if they are intoxicated. They kneel down, they roll, they do all sorts of things. They carry the chair on their head. They are doing all sorts of things like a baby. Because... Forget not to be humble. I want us to read that text that was read to us during the Bible reading time. You will love it. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7 to 18. God doesn't want us to forget. The reason is that he gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Don't forget to be humble. Let's go there from verse 7, Deuteronomy. And this is very prophetic, and I'm going to say it to you. The reason why God is still delaying some of your blessings, I will tell you now. Deuteronomy 8 verse 7. Some of you, he wants to already say to you now, but he's afraid. Somebody say, God is afraid. You will say, Pastor, what is that? Yes, read it. For the Lord your God is bringing you where? He's bringing you where? Some of you, you are going to have lifestyle properties. You see this thing here? It's possible. <laughs> I visited some men sometimes here in New Zealand. And they have so big land. And they call it, if you go on trade with, they call it lifestyle properties. Just put lifestyle there. You'll see them. And sometimes they are not too, they are not even as expensive as to the one you currently have. They are cheap, but they are not in Auckland. They are far away in the bush. He said, I'm bringing you to a land. A land of what? Brooks of water. Somebody say Amen. A land of fountains. Somebody say amen. amen. A land of springs. Somebody say amen. amen. In your, where God is giving you, you are going to have valleys, you are going to have hills. Amen. 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 A land of wheat, a land of valley, amen. a land of vines and fig trees, and promegenates, a land of olive oil and honey. That's where God is bringing you to. Amen. But we, want, we have to work on your pride. Somebody say, God is working on my pride. Because with one bedroom, you are not submissive. Now, with this lifestyle properties, you will slap your pastor. Pastor, shut up. Who are you? We are, we are financing this church. Amen. Amen. Verse 9, I think media is with me. We are reading together. Let's read on. You will see something. Somebody say, forget not. Somebody say, forget not. A land in which you will eat bread without scarcity. You will notice something in this place. When he is talking about all the beautiful, beautiful sites, there was no pride. 
But as soon as food enters, problem comes. The same problem in the Garden of Eden is food. Somebody say it's food. It's always food. Always food. Look, when he was telling them a land, a property, this, no problem. But as soon as food enter, let's read it. You will see the problem comes. A land in which you will eat bread without scarcity. Somebody say amen. amen. In which you will lack nothing. Somebody say amen. amen. It's possible to have a life where you lack nothing. God will bring you there. In which you lack not a land whose stones are iron, out of whose hills you may drink copper. Now look at it again. Somebody say food. Somebody say food. In fact, he talks about food here more than any other thing. Verse 10. When you have eaten and are... You are not talking to me. When you have eaten, verse 10, because I can see it. When you have eaten and are... Then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. But people don't do that. He said when you are eating and you are full, that's the time to praise him. But people don't do that. People forget to fast. Do you know it's difficult for rich men to fast? They can't. It's difficult for them. Because they are used to little, little things. There is a cocktail somewhere. There is a special water. Ah, I was told that there is a water. Bottled water for hundred thousand dollars. Go 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 on your on your phone. Go go it. One one bottle of water, hundred thousand dollars. You will drink it in Jesus' name. Ah, ah. This is the church of the wealthiest in the land. You will drink it in Jesus' name. You think if I had that the other come, we won't buy it. I will buy it. Amen. And then we drink it. Amen. Amen. You will drink it. Because if you can drink 100,000 bottles of water, it means you can give to the poor. Amen. Now, but let's continue to go. Don't let us lose that tongue. He said, when you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Look at verse 11. Somebody say, beware. Ah, food is troublesome. Somebody say, food is troublesome. How many people are late for church this morning because of food? They are busy. Even some people didn't come. They are busy preparing for and then ah, time is gone. I can't go. Just this thing. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God. Somebody say, forget not. Because of food. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandment, his judgment, his status that I command you today. Somebody say, blessing is coming. Abundance is coming. Greatness is coming. But forget not. Forget not. Don't forget. I'm going to say, ah, me, pastor, I can't forget. Uh, you are like Peter. Peter did more than you. Jesus, we will die for you. No way. Food? Food? Huh? When people eat and they are full, in fact, they can call their prime minister stupid. Food? Amen. Food is a problem. Somebody say, I will fast. That's why the greater he blesses you, the greater he lifts you, don't forget to fast. I know many of us don't, but you must fast. Somebody say, I will fast. You must do it regularly. You know what it does for you? It makes you feel hunger. When you feel hunger, you remember people that doesn't eat. You know, sometimes when I'm fasting, I will say, to it. sometimes the thing will be shooking me in the tummy. I will say, does it? How are these people then doing? Amen. Amen. Verse 12. He's still talking about food again. I've told you. He's, the problem is the food. And that's the blessing. When you have eaten and are full, look at it all, and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them. Look at verse 13. And when your herds and your flock multiply, somebody say multiply. I know you are managing today, but time is coming. Every dollar there will multiply. Amen. In fact, some of you, you will have Australian dollar account. Amen. You will have US dollar account. Amen. You will have Euro account. Amen. You will have all kinds of accounts. Amen. Amen. And it will all multiply. Amen. He said your silver, your gold, they are multiplied. I pray for you. May it take you to the level of multiplication. 
you know, when you are in addition, you are struggling. But this next level, it shall be multiplication all the way. Your car, multiply. Your career, multiply. Your ministry, multiply. But somebody say, forget not. That's why I taught you that song. I always sing it to myself. When I notice, I'm because, I, don't, you know, I just like to catch myself. I've, I've, thought, I've preached that message before. Catch yourself. I just like to catch myself. When I'm beginning to, and they say, okay, you know, I'll just be listening to some prayer. And they'll say, let's kneel down and pray. And I'll say, I don't want to kneel down. Ah, that's where it starts. Oh. I'll, I'll say, ah. I will never, never, never forget Jesus. Oh, yes. I will never. Yes. I will never. I will never, never, never forget Jesus. I will never forget my Look at verse 14. Because when you forget, this is what happened. Look at verse 14. When your heart is now what? I don't know if you are the Sunday school that uh, uh, sister shared that when they now start calling you, clapping for you, the it's natural. Human heart, he wants to show itself. And say, show them your swagger. Amen. Show them your <laughs> Thank you, Ralph Felix. When your heart is lifted up, then what, what follows? And you forget. Somebody say, forget not. Because people forget where they come from. Our children does it more. <laughs> they say, oh, mom, I can't do that. No, this is New Zealand, you can't do that. Mom, you must knock before you enter my room, this is New Zealand. Really? Uh, maybe you need to go and build your house now. <laughs> In this house, I'm not knocking anywhere. I open it at, at will. No courtesy. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. When your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Ah, I trouble my father to travel to England. Oh, dad, when will you send the ticket? Oh, dad, this, 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 this. And then you got there. The first thing he did was to go and buy a shoe of 600 pounds. One shoe. I'm not lying to you. 600 pound sterling. The only currency that has a surname. Pound and then sterling. One currency. Not dollar. Not euro. They are all one, 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 one. That one. 500 pounds. One shoe. <laughs> Somebody say, I will not forget. And the father, he said, but... You cannot do that. This shoe you have bought doesn't have engine. This shoe, you still need to carry your leg. It doesn't drive you. Does it drive you? No. <laughs> I know by virtue of lifting, you can do something. But when a child is just coming up, and the first thing to buy is 500 sh pounds shoe, ah, that's, that's, that's too much. Amen. Don't forget the Lord God who brought you out. When you are struggling, you tell me to send you a ticket. And I send you a ticket. Now you've forgotten all of that. <laughs> the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Look at verse 15. Who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which were fiery serpent? Look at all that you have gone through and scorpions and testy. Where there was no water. Who brought water for you? You remember sometimes we don't even have what to eat. I remember it was so bad that we even have to go and fetch water from the neighboring house and the, you know, I know how to manage water so much. If you give me, what can I tell you? This bottle of water. You know, it looks so small. I perfected the art of how you can even take your bed in that water. And you still have enough. When somebody has really suffered. I, it was that time I learned that what makes the water you are using to shower. Because in where I come from, there is, it's not coming from there. You have to take it. To, you have to scoop it on. Amen. It is what you use in scooping it that wastes the water. So I reduce it. Because if you reduce it very much, then the water will be enough. If what you are using to take the water is too big, the water is finished. I learn it. That's what God is saying. When there was no water, God is saying, forget not. Somebody say, forget not. I'm trying to tell you so you can remember that you are abroad. Doesn't mean God doesn't know where he picked you from. Amen. I know your tongue has changed. 
Don't forget. Don't forget. Who brought you water out of the rock when there was no provision for water? Amen. Look at verse 16. Who fed you in the wilderness with manna? Men have ate all sorts of food. Concussion, I'm a king of concussion. When I make concussion for you, join the rice with the maize, with the, uh, in fact, with everything. Yes, now. You know the oil, palm oil you buy, you know, they will say one quarter, half, ah, you are blessed. We will buy one over 16. <laughs> what is that? That, not one over eight, one over 16 of the bottle. So small, and you will still cook soup. Somebody say, forget not. Some people will now come now because, you know, their tongue has changed. They, you know, don't forget. I'm not saying don't enjoy your life, but don't. Don't forget. Don't forget. Forget not. When you struggle to even eat, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you. God is saying all of those things I was teaching you was to humble you. So how do we now humble ourselves in abundance? Somebody say fasting. You are not saying, somebody say fasting. That's why we fast. The reason why you are fasting is because you already have enough. You too must know how it feels. Amen. Somebody say fasting. When you eat too much, you, somebody will talk out of line. But when you are fasting, you are, your brain is correct. Because something is wiring you on the tummy. That it might humble you. That it might test you. To do you good in the end. God will do you good in the end. Amen. Verse 17. I'm taking my time. Then when people have eaten and they are full, then they will say in their hearts, this is where pride has matured and it's now full blown. Like Nebuchadnezzar. My power, my might, my hand. You know, I just didn't just go to university. I went to the University of Auckland. Not Auckland University of Tech. No. They. Their university. Somebody said, their university. And it's a, it's a big deal. You will notice that all the other universities, there is no D in front. It's the only one with a D in front. Definite article. Somebody said, definite. Different from the rest. I went to Yale. I went to Harvard. <laughs> You know, I was privileged to see the CV of somebody from Harvard apply for a role where I was one day. And the recruiting hiring manager, he called everybody in the office, come and see a CV of somebody from Harvard. Man, it's a big deal. And we all gather before the computer, we're looking. <laughs> Amen. We have never seen that before. Although we didn't give the person the job because we felt this is overqualified. Because we are all afraid. It will retire all of us. <laughs> we can't render our, ourselves jobless. We won't do that. That would be stupid. No. We are, not, we are smarter than that. Amen. We didn't even call him for interview. Ah, uh, You want to come and take our job? No way. <laughs> anyway, then you will say in your heart, my power, my might, my hand has gained me this wealth. Somebody say, forget not. No, not your power. Not your mind. No. Look at verse 18. Somebody said, you must remember. He said, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he. Somebody say, it is he who gives you power to get wealth. Somebody say, but I'm the one that read. Ah, oh, it's because you are not sick. You think you can read anything if you are sick? No. <laughs> Even if you have with on your hand, you can't do nothing on the one finger. You, you can't do anything. He, the one that gives you power. Somebody say power. Oh, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. It's because you are well. Somebody say because you are. Oh, oh, I have to be at that board meeting. It's because you are still sound. You are not mad yet. Don't you think that? The day you start talking like somebody that has dementia, uh, they will say, um... And you say, can we have the meeting? And you say, where is the uncle? Where is potato? And they are talking about uh, br bridge. And you are saying, okay, where is the wedu? Ah! They will just quickly call your next of kin. Meeting over. Somebody say, it is he that gives you power to get wealth. 
Forget your Yales. Forget your Harvard. Forget your postdoc. Forget everything. Who gives you power? It is he. It is he. Amen. Amen. So, when you are celebrating and giving glory, forget. Don't forget. Don't forget the deal. And that's what we are doing on this Thanksgiving Sunday. Finally, so I've told you, forget not to be humble. The next one, which is the assignment I'm giving you for the rest of this month is forget not to be thankful. Somebody say, forget not. Forget not. I want you to do something for me. Every hour of every day, the remaining days of this month, always say, thank you, Jesus. Set your alarm every hour. Just set your alarm. Have you said it this hour? Thank you, Jesus. Have you said it this hour? Thank you, Jesus. And if you want to be smart like me, you know what I would do? I would just pick five minutes and say it 24 times and I've covered the day. Amen! <laughs> Somebody say, forget no! Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Let's, let's finish it for today. Let's go 24 times. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We got it done for today. How many more days to go? So you know how to do it. Amen. Let's make sure we do it. Forget not to be thankful. Anytime you are thankful, you will not be depressed. Depression is actually when you are just thinking that everybody has left you behind. And you think that you don't have what they have. Forgetting that we are all on a different destiny clock. Somebody said different destiny. Obama became president before 50. Trump became president at almost 75. Can you imagine? Trump, when Obama became president, Trump is saying, ah, ah, oh God, we are not good. How can a small boy be president? We that are already almost returning, we are still here. Man, he is one of the most comedian presidents I've ever seen. I enjoyed him when he's there. Because every day there is something to laugh about. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Somebody missed Donald Trump? I do. <laughs> Praise the Lord! But you can see different destiny. Somebody say different destiny. You are not a running mate to any man. Somebody say I'm not a running mate. But when you start following people, copying people, as if that is... Their, their life is what you are living. Then you are a running mate. Somebody say, I'm unique. I'm not a vice to anybody. I'm unique. I'm in a world of my own. Amen. Somebody say, I'm not a running mate. When somebody testifies something good about themselves, thank God for your life. My time is coming. Amen. 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 Somebody is thanking God for the house. Man, I bless God for your house. If God can do it for you, he can do it for me. Amen. Yeah. At his time. Amen. Don't forget to be thankful. When you are thankful, you will not be depressed. When you are thankful, there will be no unhealthy rivalry, competition, comparison. The Bible said they are compared to themselves, to themselves, they are not wise. The reason why people are not thankful is that they keep comparing. You visited somebody's house and then you will not allow your, your husband to rest. Eh, eh, honey, eh, this table, eh, can we change it? We need glass one now. Eh, honey, the, you can't do that. Somebody said life in stages. Men in sizes. Somebody said men in sizes. Life in stages. We are all at different points. But I can assure you, you will get there. I say you will get there. Look, the one you are comparing yourself with, he also has somebody in front. So somebody say, I will look back. 
always look back. You see million. I told you, you are one of the top 5% already. Your life is already a prayer point. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget. In Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. We'll read this and then we'll dance and we'll be on our way home. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let's read it together from verse 1. From verse 1. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget. That's the word again. Forget not to be thankful. Can we have King James, please? Forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all your iniquities. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfy your mouth. The food again. Amen. Somebody say food. <laughs> it's always there. Amen. Somebody say forget not. Somebody say forget not. Who satisfy your mouth with good. You are not saying it. Who satisfy your mouth with. Meaning there are bad things to eat as well. Somebody say bad things. Don't eat it. Be careful what you put in your mouth. Either in form of smoke or whatever they are. Or in form of uh, liquid. There are bad things. Who satisfy your mouth with what? Good things. Good things. And the Bible says when you eat good things, you'll be growing younger. Look, the cure as per God for somebody aging is good food. That's what the Bible is saying. Who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is what? Renewed like the... As far as God is concerned, it's not the cream. It's not the collagen. No. It's not the tightness of the collagen cream. To no, no, no. It's food. Somebody say food. Good food. Amen. That's why many of you, when you go back to wherever you, when you visit your home country, people be looking at your skin. You look different. Amen. I was only walking on the street. Everybody was looking back. And I was wondering, why are they looking back? I forgot that I was carrying a bag from one of the shops on the streets of Auckland. So everybody knows that this kind of bag is not black bag because where I come from is always black and white bag. So when they saw the designer bag, everybody was looking back, looking back. And I was wondering, I was going to my wife's house. Amen. Yes, from Germany. Yes, I remember. Thank you. Amen. Somebody said good things. God will satisfy your mouth with good things. He will renew your youth. Amen. At 70, they won't even know. Amen. Because we'll still be bouncing like a stone. Amen. I hope the choir is ready. If we do one very high praise, we dance very high praise to tell God we do not forget. And then we'll be on our way home. Amen. I'm going to thank God. There's something I forgot to say. Okay, we'll do that next time. We'll come in September Thanksgiving. And don't forget, we are coming with white. If you don't have, it's all good. Amen. 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 If you don't have, just buy a white hanky. Amen. And put it on the floor and kneel on it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So next Sunday is our International Sunday. Another opportunity for us to come and show God that we have not forgotten. Amen. So we come and display our cultures where we're from. Show humility. Talk to Brother Mavs or myself. If you'd like to share something about where you come from, shout amen. amen. Somebody jump to your feet. Amen. I'm going to dance and praise him. It doesn't matter where what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. Amen. I'm going to dance and praise him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. God's his name. His name is Jesus. I'm born a widow. I'm born a widow. More than victorious. I'm the head of his kingdom. Feel the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost. Come on, your hands. magnify you Jesus we will not forget I'm gonna dance and praise come on I'm gonna dance and praise him it 
doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one, the greater one lives inside of one me. Says that his name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. I'm born a winner. More than victorious. More than victorious. I'm a head of his kingdom. I'm a head of his kingdom. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. So I rejoice. Friend of God. Come on. Hip, hip. 
I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me. Are you a friend of Jesus? I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Hallelujah. I am a friend. I will not forget. He calls me friend. I am a friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. He calls me friend. He calls me friend. Say, He calls me friend. Who am I that you're mindful? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me? That you hear me? When I call, when I call. Is it true that? Is it true that you are thinking of me and love me? How you love me, Jesus? How you love me? It's amazing. Lift your voice. It's amazing. So amazing. So amazing. I am a friend of God. 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 He calls me. Lift your hands, say, God Almighty, God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have, you have called me friend, Lord God Almighty, God Almighty, Lord of glory, you are the ancient of this, you call me, you call me, you call me. We honor, we glorify, we lift you, we bless your name. You have, you have, hey, say, say, I'm a friend of God. I am a friend, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Are you ready? He calls me friend. Say, 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 one, two, three, go. If we go to him. If we run to him, if we lift our heads, come now, praise his name. Oh, you of God. Let's go again. Come on, one, two, three, go. If we go to him, if we run to him, if we lift our heads, come now, come now, praise his name. Sing, sing, sing. Don't forget, clap for joy. Clap. We bless your name. We bless your name. Somebody dance for joy. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Come on, to the left. Come on. Somebody dance. Don't forget. Come on. Sing for joy. We bless your name. Sing for joy. Sing for joy to God our strength. Listen, Tambira, Jehovah. Come on, Tambira, Jehovah. Tambira, Tambira, Jehovah. Tambira, 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 Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah, Tambira Jehovah, 
Hey. Do you know what it means? It means, come, let us dance to the Lord. Come, let us dance to my God. I will not forget. I remember his mercies. So I will dance. I will dance. Tambira Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah. One more time. Tambira Jehovah. He's a faithful God. He's a good God. He's a merciful God. Tambira. Tambira Jehovah. Jehovah, is somebody going to carry their chair? Yes, you know, come on, come let's dance to the Lord. Come let's dance to the Lord. Yes, you know, come on, come let's dance to the Lord. Hallelujah, come let's dance to the Lord. Yeah, 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 to the good God, to Jehovah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God is good, oh. My God is good. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good to you? He's good to me. Is it good to you? Is it good to you? He's good to me. Is it good to you? He's good to me. Is it good to you? 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 Is it you are great and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are wonderful, your mercy. Hey. Hallelujah. Are you forgetting? Say, you are good, you are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are great and your mercy. Hey. Hallelujah. You know what happened? David danced. His pants fell off. They were laughing at him. Hey, hey, come on. You are wonderful. Hey, I remember when I used to fetch water. And I would put it on my head. I won't hold it. Big bath. Big container. But Jesus turned my life around. Hey, turned my life around. He made a way. He made a way when there is no way. Hallelujah. living here. My husband was there. She said, you forgotten that you came from Bariga. Hey! You know where Bariga is? Near University of Lagos. Ah! Jehovah took my life. Forget. How can I forget? Glory be to the Lord in the 
Isikenu, land of the tribe of Judah, God of Abraham, God of Israel, God of Isaac. We will never forget. We will never forget. Everybody lift up Jesus. Higher. One more time. One more time. Come on. Everybody lift up Jesus. Higher. Lift him up. Lift. Wow. Higher. I saw gates open. Lift him up. Come Higher. on. Lift him up. Higher. I saw gates open. Lift him up. Higher. Lift him up. Higher. Lift him up. We will not forget your benefits, your forgiveness, your salvation, your favor, your kindness. We will not forget. We will not forget. In Jesus' name. You are Alpha. And oh, hey God, we worship you, our Lord. You're worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Can we do a practice of next month? Let's be on our knees, everyone. Come on. You are Alpha. You are Alpha. You are Omega and Omega. We worship. We worship you, our Lord. Nobody like you. Nobody like. It 
It's a problem. It's a problem. Always worship you. He's my worship. He's my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Receive my, receive my worship. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful, Father. We will not forget. Let's make a promise. We can rise or you can kneel. Let's just tell the Lord, Father, I will not forget. I will not forget your goodness. It's a promise I make. It's a promise I make. I will not forget how you healed me. How you saved me. How you delivered me. I will never forget. I will never forget. How you provided Jesus. How you made a way where there's no way. How you gave me favor. How you qualified me where men disqualified me. How can we forget? It's a promise we will never forget. We will not forget. Thank you, Jesus.
us hold on to you. Let us hold on to you, Jesus. Help us to hold on to you during these days, God. During these last days, help us to hold on to you, God. Help us to hold on tight to you, Jesus. We can't do this on our own, oh God. We can't do this on our own. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. should remain, but all of you can just ooze us out of us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Everything holding us back from clinging on to you, Father, removing it out of our life. In Jesus' name. Everything holding us back from clinging on to you and giving us, giving our self and giving our all to you, oh God. Help us to, help us to just hold on to you and everything that's holding us back. Father, just remove it, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, all we need is you. All we need is you. Nothing more, nothing more, nothing more, nothing more but you, Jesus. But you, Jesus. Be the Lord of our lives. Be the Lord of our lives. We surrender our fresh today, God. We surrender our fresh today, God. We surrender our lives afresh, oh God. We surrender our hearts, we surrender our mind, we surrender our total being to you, Jesus. We surrender every single part of us, oh God. Every room that we've not allowed you to open, Father Lord, open it and we give you access right now. We give you access, Jesus. We give you access to every area of our lives right now. Give you access to every room, every room in our hearts. We give you access. We give you access, Jesus.
Praise the Lord. So we can, we can feel free to go home. The service is over. Or if you still want to pray, then it's all right. Thank you.